1040. Today is Monday, August, not August, September 9th, and I'm using my digital camera because I finally put in the new SD card this morning. Because um, I, I could have done it this weekend, but I didn't go out this weekend, so I figure why bother opening it and putting it in the camera. So yeah, um, didn't do too much, like I said, I stayed home. I didn't even order out, you know, via Grubhub or Uber Eats or DoorDash and stuff like that. Um, I worked on the diamond painting this weekend. I worked on it a lot on um, Saturday and a little bit on Sunday, and I'll work on it more today and tomorrow. Um, I was going to go to the farmer's market um, Saturday, the one in downtown Summerlin, but I decided not to do it because it still would cost too much to go, like, I think it's like three or four or five miles from my house, and it's like, it was like ten or eleven dollars or twelve dollars the most to go there. I mean, I paid less. I paid like twelve dollars coming home from Golden Nugget on Lyft, and that, and that was with, um, the pool on Lyft, so yeah, it was like the same price from here to um, the, the farmer's market to downtown Summerlin Mall, and it's like a little bit closer than um, downtown Vegas. But anyway, so I stayed home, and I'm, I wanted to go there because I wanted to get more potato chips from that one vendor that I got um, when last time I was there, like not last week, like two weeks ago, and, um, because they were really good, but I saved the bag, and I googled them, and they're at, besides the farmer's market in downtown Summerlin, they also go to the one in, um, not too far from, in a park not too far from my house, so I was like, I'll probably go there Wednesday, because it's Wednesday in the afternoon, they're there, um, that's when that farmer's market's open, so I might go there Wednesday because I'm probably going to stay home today and tomorrow. I'm probably Wednesday if it's too much money to go there. I know it's not that good to stay home all the time. I got told that by my financial guy and I've been told that by my mother before she passed away and other people. But, you know, I'm trying to keep expenses, <laughs> expenses you know, down with my credit card. Because, you know, you don't have to pay for other stuff. But, anyway. So, yeah. And, um, so I might do that. And, yeah, um, I finally, um, went to the you know, post office website and scheduled a pickup for my Thread Up package. And it's going to be picked up today, this afternoon, whenever, you know, when the mail comes. Because that's a free option if you wanted, like, a special time or whatever um, that you have to pay for. So, yeah. Sitting out there, melting. Um, decided to put it out early because I know myself and I'll probably forget. Because last night I was in bed and I'm like, oh, I was supposed to put that bag out. Because I saw it on the floor in the bedroom. And I'm like, yeah, I'll do it in the morning. So I remembered. So, yeah, that's about as exciting as you get right now. Um, yes, Saturday the mail came and I got the thing from the lawyer. So, it's official. And now, you know, I still have to call, you know, notify the um, HOA. Well, I have to call them anyway to tell them about my mom and put my name on the HOA, on the bill. And I have to t um, contact them because of the insurance thing for the mortgage, you know, for the outside. Because they do the outside and, you know, we cover the inside. And, uh, so you have to do that and I have to go to the, um, my insurance place to have them write a letter and sell them, send them off to the mortgage company. I have to tell the insurance company... But I don't know what to do about that because I paid the home insurance back in July. And so I don't know about that. 
And then eventually I have to call the mortgage company. <laughs> I'm dreading that. I'm nervous about calling them because, um, you know, they have to, you know, put my name on. And I'm afraid that they'll have to refinance, you know, because I'm not, even though, you know, I, have, I do have money to pay, but I'm not working. And, you know, a friend of my parents, when I said that I posted on Facebook, I took it down that I got the paperwork and now it's official. I says in my name and he's like, you should pay it off, you know, the whole rest of the mortgage off. And I'm like... I won't have any, and I told him, I won't have any money left to live on. I'm like, no, and my mom, w she could have done that herself, but then she wouldn't have any money left to give me. So that wasn't, that's not an option. And he, he kept telling me to do that, and I'm like, no. And then, you know, he, then he's telling me stuff I already know. <laughs> you know, because they could, you know, the refinance, they could lower the payment every month, but then I will have to pay it longer. And I'm like, I, you know, I don't mind the lower payment, paying it off more, you know, waiting to pay it off. It's like, I, don't, I don't know. I'm nervous. I'm stressed enough, and he's making it worse. So I, I did um, the um, somebody that I follow on Twitter. He does mortgages, so I'm waiting to hear back from him because I just asked a question. And I don't even know if I can shop around different mortgage companies, you know, to, you know, try to get a different rate or something. I, I'm so stressed out. That's the one thing I'm so stressed about is that, and plus trying to pay off the rest of these, you know, living. And um, so, yeah, and I'm still waiting to hear from the chaplain. He's probably still researching Jewish places to do uh, bereavement groups. Um, the owner of, I think I said this in my last slide, the owner of the um, funeral home told me to contact Jewish Family Services, I think that's what it's called, and to do about grief counseling. And I know they have it there, but it's like, I looked up how much it's going to be with Uber and Lyft, and it's almost like, it's like on the other side of town. It's more by the strip um, on Eastern, no, by Tropic Tropicana, and Tropicana. It's not too far from the Pinball muse Museum, and it's like it's expensive. It's like over twenty dollars <laughs> to get if I went there on um, Uber or Lyft. I'm like, no. As much as I you know want to you know, go there, but you know that's one way. I'm like no. Um, I know I still have to contact them. I might email them because they have a form to email and then let them contact me. So, yeah, I, I need to do something. I don't know what to do. And I'm rambling. Sorry about that. And there was something else I wanted to say. Oh, my God. Ugh. I forgot what I was going to say. But anyway, I have been arting. I've been doing um, prompts or a bingo game on a couple YouTube channels. One one YouTube channel, she streams. She does bingo on Saturday nights, and it's just, you play bingo. And you also with the bingo numbers, there's prompts. And you do a journal page with the prompts, and then on a couple other days, there's like just a prompt game. There's like a, she pulls like people call numbers, and then those numbers go with a prompt and you do those um, and then there's like a blind six prompt challenge and you do like that you can do in any order you want with those prompts but this is my go I showed you that before this was a bingo page I think I showed you that before this was like done the last week I think that was a bingo page. This is another bingo page. This was another one. This was just um, some was the extra bingo prompts, and then I just added the image and the words that he said. I think I showed it before. This is another bingo page. 
this was a bingle page, and then um, this wasn't part of the bingle. I just wanted to finish the prompt, or finish the page, because it was just the background. And this was a Tim Holtz thing. This was a bingle page. No, this was a blind six challenge. This was a bingo page or a prompt challenge. I don't remember. This was a bingo page. This was lit just this past weekend. And this was a blind six challenge from the past week, last week, that I finished this weekend. This was a sticker. That was from um, the Me and My Big Ideas sticker books. I think it was one of the quote ones. And this was a blind six challenge from this weekend. I think it was, no, yeah, it was Sunday we did, I did this. So, yeah, that's all I did. I mean, this is a junk journal that I made a few years ago. You know, and I handed it up for sale, but like I said, before, I've been using these for myself since they never sold. And this one's not as big as the other ones that I've been using. So, or I mean, I should say. So. Yeah, there was something else I wanted to say about grief and stuff like that. And I don't remember. That's going to bug me. <laughs> so, anyway, that's enough rambling for now and a little show and tell. So, I'm going to end the vlog here. And if I can do another one, it'll probably be for tomorrow. I mean, another segment today will probably be one for, to be it for tomorrow. So, anyway, that's it. So, see you later. So, things are happening. I wasn't going to do an update, but things are happening this afternoon. Um, mail hasn't come yet because my package is still on the porch. I did go check the mail to see, well, I thought, well, maybe they forgot to pick it up, but there was no mail, so that's why it's still there. And every time I go past the door, you know, go to the kitchen and coming back, I see, I go, I see the package and I go, oh, there's a package for me. But then I realize, no, it's not for me. It's leaving. <laughs> so, yeah. And then, um, I'm over here because I'm going to do a front facing. I still look like a hot mess, but anyway. Um, I contacted the HOA finally because I needed, you know, a thing for the, about the insurance outside of the house for my mortgage company. And I also, you know, told her that my mom passed away. I need the name on the bill to go in my name. So she emailed me. She sent a PDF of one thing for the supposedly for the insurance <laughs> and then a thing to form to print and fill out and to mail back to change my name you know have the name change and so I filled that out and then I looked at the PDF that she sent the other thing and I'm like this is not what they sent last year because I still have the thing that they sent last year because I had to do this last year uh, while my mom was in rehab and so I emailed her, I go, this wasn't what you sent last year, and I named the form that they, the thing that they sent last year, and she wrote back, let me get back to my manager, and but she did send it, so I printed it out, so, you know, someday, maybe next week or whatever, I'll go to uh, my insurance agency and give them that, and then let them know the, um, know that she passed away and take care of that. Not really in a rush for, to do that, but I gotta, you know, do that for the mortgage. And speaking of mortgage, I contacted somebody on Twitter that I listened to his podcast on wrestling, but he does mortgages. First family mortgage, and I just asked him a question about, um, you know, because I know everybody was, people I, you know, talked to the lawyer, you know, and stuff, talked about refinancing, fi refinancing, you know, when I tell them, um, so, 
I DM'd him last night. He DM'd me this morning to tell him to email him or call. So I emailed him because I knew if I call, I'd start crying. Because I was tearing, because I knew that because I was tearing up when I was writing the email. It was basically saying the same thing <laughs> um, that I DM'd him. Then he asked for my phone number, and I didn't, but I gave it to him, and then he didn't call me. One of his workers, please call me. And uh, I'm still going to stay with the mortgage that I company that I have now till everything is settled, because I don't want to miss a payment and lose the house. She, you know, suggested that, but I'm gathering stuff to, um, Send her back. I scanned some stuff that she needed. The only thing that I don't have is um, what I'm gonna get monthly, you know, money, you know, for my financial guy to pay the bills and stuff. Cause you know, I just took care of that last Friday. I'm still waiting for a little money that he's supposed to send me so I can pay the mortgage for this month <laughs> and a couple other bills. So yeah. Um, well, one bill I didn't get yet, but yeah, I'm waiting for the money. Granted, it's only the ninth. You know, this stuff ain't due to the end of the month. But then I do this all over again. So, yeah, I'm waiting for that. So, everything's, like, on hold. But she was really nice and everything, you know, helped me out and explained it. But after I got off the phone, my stomach... I felt a little queasy. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm still stressed. Um, my uncle called to see how things were going and stuff. Um, I mentioned about grief counseling. About, because my, you know, our, my, our financial, he goes, sees the same guy for financial stuff. Um, about getting counseling and stuff. And he was mad because the social worker at, at Infinity Hospice was going to give me information on grief, all this stuff, and he didn't, so, yeah, and, um, but I did finally email, I, I could have called, but I like emailing better, so, you know, the shyness, granted, I'm doing YouTube, I'm talking to you <laughs> on camera, which is, like, shocking, what, but whatever, um, I emailed them, Explain my situation, basically saying I need grief, grief counseling, and their facility is way too far, is far, and will cost way too much for me to get there. You know, back and forth. If there was something closer, and I um, so yeah, and obviously I haven't heard back from them because I just did that like a few minutes ago. So that's the update going on with me for this afternoon. And that's probably be it for today. And, um, yep. So that's it. And uh, now I will see you later. <laughs>